What's up, YouTube? It's Dylan here. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so, they got a pretty cool guest for you. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started. Yep. Bam! Yeah, this guy right here, this guy who is over 19, 20 inches long, is the Eastern Spiny Softshell Turtle. An adult. A grandpa. A great-great-grandpa. Yeah. So, these guys, wow, there's a lot to say about them, so let me uh, go ahead and start. The, 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 the Eastern Spiny Softshell Turtle is a awesome turtle. They're super fast. Believe it or not, you think turtle, you think slow, right? These guys outrun any turtle in the water, at least around here. They're super fast. They're like little crafts moving through the water. Uh, same thing with on land. They just whoo, whoo, boosh in the water, and that's, that's their moving pattern, just like that. They wobble back and forth and hit the water, and they just, they're gone. They are gone. Um, <clears throat> they have really, really, really uh, big hands for, for swimming and uh, digging and climbing and all types of stuff. They're super strong. Um, I dove into the water yesterday to grab this thing, and I had one hand on it, and he slipped away, and right as he slipped away, I grabbed him with the other hand, and then grabbed him back, grabbed him by his shell, and he just scratched the heck out of my hand, uh, trying to get away from me. They're just, and they're every bit of aggressive as a snapping turtle, believe it or not, they are. Uh, they have, they don't have teeth teeth, but they have, like, like, razor blades, like, going back like that in their mouth, and, uh, and they'll get a hold of you, and they'll they'll cut you up. I mean, this guy um, is not very aggressive, actually. He's he hasn't tried to bite me. Um, this right here is not a good idea. Don't ever do that because they'll bite you. Uh, their neck can come out about um, about that far out of their shell, at least at this size they can. Um, and their tail looks just like their head too, which is pretty cool. Um, they got a tail about that long, and he wants to move. Um, they, with a lot of times, they're mistaken, well, I mistake them for sticks sometimes, and that's why I call them stickhead turtles sometimes, uh, because when they put their head up out of the water, it looks just like a little stick right, right there, and then it goes down, there, then they're gone. Um, they're very hard to catch. Um, usually people will catch them in seines, uh, jug lines, and trot lines. Unfortunately, they get snagged up by fishermen. Uh, people reel them in on on hooks, you know, on fishing poles all the time because they like to bite fish bait, catfish bait, and stuff of that nature. Um, their food, oh my goodness, their food ranges from a lot of things. Uh, their food can range from small frogs, small fish, to algae, to um, fish eggs, to the elite fish eggs. Um, and, uh, and you know, just stuff of that nature, just turtle stuff, right? Uh, he still likes his sal salads. I, they do, they are very carnivorous at the same time, though. Um, these guys have, <clears throat> they're pond turtles, excuse me for spitting audio, I'm sorry, uh, they're pond turtles, but they are every bit of a, of a river turtle too. I mean, they, they live in streams too. I mean, I've caught plenty of them at my creek, uh, this size and, uh, smaller. Um, I'm trying not to get them to run everywhere because this is not a big space. Um, but they are, they're very, they're very cool turtles. They... People call them leatherback turtles, people call them softshell turtles, they are a softshell turtle species. Um, I had to look at this guy a couple times because I thought he might have been a, uh, a Midland smooth softshell, but then I realized he does have the distinctive spines right here, and then his feet and his head are a different color than what a Midland would look like. As you can see, they're very spotty and uh, look kind of like algae, but uh, I, don't, I don't think you can see the sp maybe you can't see the spines right here. But, uh, but yeah, so they're very neat turtles. Um, they're fast. They're so, so fast. And that's one thing you should really focus on is how fast these things really are. You go to a golf course and you look at the side of the bank and you usually see common snappers, pond sliders, and, and these guys, softshell turtles. And uh, <clears throat> they're just so cool. Um, you'll see them sitting on sides of logs and, and uh, uh, stacked on top of each other and sometimes... Uh, you'll see, sometimes people will keep them as pets. I think it's a dumb idea just because they're every bit of aggressive, like I said, as a snapping turtle. And they just get big and they're just not that little turtle that you want to hold and cuddle with, you know. They're just a, they're just a big monster. But uh, some people kill them um, and try to eat them and I don't, I'm totally against that. But, you know, it, it is what it is. But uh, they get a bad rap. Um, 
they're just maybe because no one can really catch them because they're just so daggone fast. But, um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that sums it up for what this turtle is really about. He's just a fast, cute, colorful. I mean, he's got a but he looks like a big blob of algae, but he's got that smooth shell with the spines on the sides and, uh, the underneath of them is, is pretty neat. Um, sorry, buddy. Uh, they don't have like a full undershell, kind of like a snappy turtle does. Doesn't have either as well. Um, but uh, and then the top they have they have the uh, the spots too. And when they're young, they have a. It almost feels like sandpaper on the back. But uh, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. So uh, you ready to go back to the creek? Um, Apollon spinifera spinifera. The uh, spiny softshell turtle, or eastern spiny softshell. Alright, say bye, buddy. Boop. Alright, see ya.